Hello, 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 everybody. Hi, my name is Eve's Eve's Creations Paint Party. It's Friday night, and we're doing Love Buggy. <laughs> Isn't it cute? Ah, oh, so many creative things you guys can do with this. I can't wait to see them. Of course, we have to say hello to you know who, who, because he's excited. <laughs> see? <laughs> say hi to your fans, butters. Say hi. Say hi, buddy. What you doing? You're so cute. I know, I know. You're saying hi to everybody. You're a good boy. Yeah, okay. There you go. There you go. Uh, take it easy. Don't choke. <laughs> All right. I'm walking it over. <laughs> Handy dandy table. Got my tea. All right. We got our weapons this evening. We got big boy. He is a one inch flat. We have a large fluffy in the house. Stiff bristled brush. Bristles go everywhere. We've got Minnie Me hanging out with us tonight, right? He's a small shader, and Tiny's in the house. He is a small round, and of course, Mr. Nifty. If you want Mr. Nifty's uh, support at five dollars or more, Facebook message me your address. I send you these out for free. All right, same colors every single time we paint, every single time. Red, yellow, blue, black, and white. All right, roll call's already starting. Let's see who we got up in here. We got Kimberly's hanging out with us tonight. Hello, 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 Kimberly. Joan's here with their little frog. Hi, Joan. Marsha's hanging out with us tonight. How's that paint shirt doing, Marsha? <laughs> How's that paint shirt doing yet? I hope it's doing you well. All right, I'm still wearing mine. Over a year old, vinyl's still not going anywhere. <laughs> All right, let me put you guys in your handy dandy holder. All right, I can't show you both at once what I'm working on and where we're going. So if you need a reference, take a screenshot. Just swipe the comments off. I'm working on a 16 by 20. It is 16 this way, 20 straight up and down. If you're working on a different size, that is okay. As long as you're in the general area of your canvas that I am in. Liz is here from Massachusetts. You love your shirt? Yeah, that was a nice shirt. I like the red. I'm not going to lie, but then again, red's my favorite color, so there you go. There you go. All right, all of my videos are kid-friendly, so I'm going to try to watch this thing. If you guys could watch your comments, that would be excellent. Um, replays will be always available on my YouTube channel. Alrighty, guys, so um, keep that in mind. Why is where they moved where I can comment? <laughs> Huh? I don't have my comment button anymore. Where did it go? Where's, 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 where's my comments? Is that it? Mm. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> that is not it. That's not it. I don't know what I hit just now. Alright. Alright, okay. I can't write com- Oh, there it is! I found it! They moved the button. Right? I'm, I'm so good. Um, okay, so replays are always, 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 always available on my YouTube channel. Same name, same name, Ace Creations Paint Party. Okay, and uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. You would think I'd have my thing like... There it is. Boop. All right, and tips are always appreciated. Um, I don't charge anything for any of my videos. Haven't have not charged anything for anything any of my videos they're for everybody but every little bit of support definitely helps um so you know what if you got two bucks that's fine because <laughs> your two bucks and somebody else's two bucks and somebody else's two bucks allows me to buy canvases paint uh supplies to be able to keep doing these for uh, free, all right. So just keep that in mind, guys. And I'm looking for PayPal. There it is, Venmo and PayPal. Of course, all of this can be found on my website, right? The website. Um, if you go to the website, you're going to see a whole row of buttons. Your first page, all right? You can hit the button support. That'll give you the Venmo and PayPal link. You can hit the button merchandise. That'll bring you to the shirts the uh, paint, um, the brush sets, okay, all of that good stuff, all right, and if you hit the button linked, 
that will bring you to all of my other social media links, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Etsy, right? Uh, if you want to, uh, if you're looking to purchase some of Eve's originals, go to my Etsy shop, Eve's Creations Art on Etsy, all right? All of that can be accessed through the website. You get a whole list of buttons when you first open the page. Easy peasy, guys. Very simple to follow. Because I I know how it is with uh, buttons, and um, yeah, we don't want to do that. All right, there's Etsy. Okay, all right, Lori, thank you so much for sharing. Thank you guys so 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 much. How's everybody doing tonight? Uh, Marsha loves her shirt, six thousand percent. And we have do 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 do. Boy, I just posted a lot of stuff. I just smacked you guys right up. <laughs> right upside the head with information <laughs> but hey I'm on point I think I remembered everything <laughs> uh, those of you following my make them up journey I gotta match the painting I think I did pretty well <laughs> all right um, how's everybody doing I hope you're all doing well how's everybody's Friday night going I'm still writing roll, roll call. We got Lori in the house who shared. Thank you so much, guys. Yep, sharing is caring. Hit that share button. Um, even if one other person looks at your post that you shared it, it's still one other person that will be able to hang out with us and become part of the fam. All right, um, stars is enabled. Okay, so don't forget about that. And uh, we're going to get started. Uh, thank you, Lori. I appreciate that. Um, love buggy tonight. You guys can get so creative with this. All right. Um, I want to see that creativity. I want to see you guys, uh, you know, get those juices flowing. All right. If you don't want pink, you don't have to do it pink. Um, in our little exhaust cloud, you can put names and initials inside the car. Um, I didn't do it on purpose because I want you guys to get creative, but you can put kitties, you can put puppies, you can put people, you can make a couple, you could, um, you know, whatever you want to do. If you like the dice, you can do the dice. Okay, guys, so um, my craft paint people out there, all you guys with the apple barrel going on, you can use it on this painting. All right, there's no blending, so um, it's perfectly fine, and it would be advantageous um, to be able to use on this painting. So if you have those, you can totally use it for this painting, and you're not going to run into any issues as far as blending and, and um, opacity and, like, all that kind of stuff. I don't know if I said opacity right, but it sounded very smart. <laughs> Yep, love bug in the house. That's what I'm talking about. All right, anybody want to take a guess on why I did this as a lime green color? Anybody want to guess? <laughs> anybody, anybody? Give you, give you a minute to ponder that one. There was a reason. There was a reason. Not that I like the color. There's a reason why I picked lime green. Cheers, everybody. Cheers to you all. How's New Year start uh, treating everybody? How's 2024 treating everybody? I hope you're all doing pretty good in the new year, right? We survived the first week. We did it! Hey, Carolyn, how you doing, sweetheart? All right, Carolyn, sounds good. All right. The reason I picked lime green is because green and red make each other pop. Um, to simulate grass, good guess. Good guess, but um, the reason is uh, green and red, opposite the color wheel, make each other pop. All right, so when you, um, it still counts. <laughs> that was the other way around, but <laughs> I'll take it. Um, so when you're uh, dealing with those nuances of color, right, lime green, uh, hot pink, same standards still apply, okay? So when you're dealing with 
Ding, 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 ding. Carolyn got it. Um, when you're dealing with the nuances of certain colors, uh, you can still use the same concepts, right? Because the base color of pink is red, the base color of lime green is green, red and green opposite, boom, you get contrasting colors and they make things pop more. There you go. So that is the reason I chose lime green. All right, so enough said about that. Boop, 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 boop. Let's take this down. It's the almighty blank canvas. Oh yeah, so this canvas is gessoed. A lot of you asked about the gesso. The reason it's gessoed is because there was painting uh, underneath, right? So uh, I had a canvas, I painted on it, and then it was covered up with layers of gesso. So that is why that happens. Hey, Katie, how you doing, sweetheart? What's going on? Um, if you guys want me to show you anything, like in the car, the people, the puppies, the whatever, just let me know, all right? Um, exactly, Lori, you got it, you got it, doll. All right, so uh, the whole canvas is one solid color, so we're going to be doing one solid color all the way across. Again, you guys can get creative with this. You don't have to do the same colors I'm doing. I got white. Right, we're gonna grab a whole bunch of yellow. I'm talking massive amounts of yellow and the tiniest bit of blue, <laughs> just a little bit. All right, tiniest bit of blue. Okay, and we're gonna mix this all together. See, see that? See, see what the blue does? See how dark that got so fast? All right, if that happens to you, and I just did a smidge that happens to you guys just add more yellow all right add more yellow all right and we're going for um, nice smooth coverage right this is a graphic kind of painting okay guys uh, like lots uh, you know one big object and um, all that happy stuff so you want a nice smooth background nice and smooth and I'm just grabbing more yellow okay and I'm gonna pull some of that blue I'm gonna spread this around a little bit so it's not so dark in the middle there all right so let's spread this around and we're gonna uh, soften this all out all right so nice thin layer right cover your whole canvas Nice thin layer. The more you swipe over it, the more it's going to blend together. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The more it's going to blend together. Thank you so much for the stars. Thank you so much. That is awesome. Diane leading us off with some stars. I don't think the sheriff's in town. <laughs> But thank you, Diane. I appreciate that. Um, making an entrance. I love it. And Debbie is here. I freezing? I freezing on your end? That's, um, I don't know why that is. <laughs> I don't know why that is. Okay. So, do, 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 do. So, everybody survive? I already need to grab more yellow paint. So, to make your lime green, whole lot of yellow. Whole bunches. Bunches and bunches and bunches of yellow. Bunches and bunches. A whole bunch. But make sure you add that white to it. Alright, so you don't, uh, you get a nice, um, coverage. Okay, because if you just do yellow, you're going to see all the way to the base of your canvas. All right, so you want to add the white to it to give you yourself nice coverage and a um, whoop, I got crunchies. Let's get rid of those. Okay, again, nice and soft and smooth and flat. Right, we don't want to turn around and have uh, any goopy gobs. No goopy gobs. Hello, Heather. How are you doing, sweetheart? What's going on? We got Nashville in the house. Oh, yeah. Nashville is in the house. Microscopic amount of blue. Microscopic. <laughs> Look how much that, that darkened the color. That little tiny bit. 
a little tiny bit of blue that I had on my brush darken this whole color up so you can make this as light as or dark as you want it to be you don't even have to do it green if you don't want to that's fine too that is fine too do 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 or you can split the canvas in half right do uh green down here and blue up there right it's your painting it's your world it's your painting do what you want to do 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 my acre scott let's try even a little bit less look at that look that, that that's it look see look just that little bit let's see what happens Ah, see, that wasn't too bad. There we go. Okay, so I am going to fill this in, spread it nice and thin so it dries, and we can go to the next layer. You guys already know, my OGs already know, we're going to be mapping. We're going to be mapping. Yes, we are. Da, 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 da. Who knows what mapping is? You guys know what's mapping, guys. <laughs> I've been I've been telling you guys what mapping is for over th three years now. <laughs> what's mapping? You guys tell me. You tell me. Who's gonna get it? Who's gonna get it first? When Eve says mapping, what am I talking about? You just watching, Nikki? That's okay. Hey, Christina, how you doing, sweetheart? Melissa wants to do next week. Just tell me what we need to get. Okay, I have a supply list, darling. It's right on my event page. <laughs> That's cool. So, Christina's in the house. Christina's actually an in real life friend of mine. So, how you doing, Christina? Nikki's here. Nikki's just watching tonight. And hi, Melissa. What are you doing, sweetheart? How you doing? Placing your basic shapes in white paint. Carolyn's on point tonight. Woohoo! That's right. That's what mapping is. Placing your basic shapes in using white paint first. White paint first. Who can who can tell me why? There's a couple reasons why. Mapping out where you want the stuff. Yep, that's another reason why. That's one of the reasons why. All right, Lori got a reason why. What's another reason why? Didn't know you guys were gonna get quizzed tonight, right? I'm uh, hitting you with the questions tonight. <laughs> Right? Lori got a reason why. What's another reason why? Why white? White makes it easy to cover. That's right, Debbie, you got that. Um, to cover up the bleed through so you have accurate colors. That is awesome. Yep, Carrie, it's free to watch, darling. Welcome. It's always free to watch. Tips are appreciated. White underneath makes the colors pop. Damn, you guys are paying attention. I love this. <laughs> Welcome to the fam, Carrie. How you doing, sweetheart? Um, you guys all nailed that big time, big time, awesome. So, um, yeah, the PayPal uh, link is just popping up for tips, darling. You can X right out of that, um, and it goes away. The link's popping up to be able to make it easier to give uh, tips. Okay, so, wow, you guys are paying attention. I love it, 6,000%. <laughs> Oh, I've been saying it <laughs> for a long time, that's for sure. Thank you, Debbie. I appreciate that. Thank you guys so much. i got stars already hanging out with us. If you don't know about stars, stars um, on my end are about a penny each, I think. Something like that. Okay, guys. So, um, not really sure what it is on your end. They keep changing it to make things brighter. That's right, Nikki. You got it. To make things brighter to make the colors pop, 
to um, it's easier to cover right gets rid of the background colors in the background right excellent 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 and um, the other reason is if you completely screw up it's very easy to blend out very easy to blend out so if you completely screw up putting your shape in it doesn't take much to blend it out all right I'm swirl tap dab and big boy and we're gonna make our love bug okay so a uh, nice clean brush white paint like you guys said right and we're gonna find our center oh let's find our center okay and right in the middle right here right right in the center of things you want to leave a little room for the exhaust cloud right we're gonna have puffs of trees right here so right smack dab in the middle is where our love bug is gonna go and what I want you guys to do is you're gonna make a piece of bread you're gonna make a piece of bread Okay, you're going to make a piece of bread, and then you're going to turn around. Don't make it too big, because then you got to put the sides. So then I'm going to start at this corner, I'm going to pull down at an angle, and then I'm going to round it in. And I'm going to start on this side, pull down at an angle, right where I started rounding over here. I'm going to start rounding over here, and round it in. Again, not that big, right? Because the more we play with this, the bigger it's going to get. Once I have my piece of bread in, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go shoop, put one of those in. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to put one of these in. Right, teardrops on both sides. And then you're just going to follow this curve, follow the curve. Drop it down, bring it in. Follow the curve, drop it down, bring it in. And then you want to kind of just go back and forth between the two to make sure that they match. All right, so I'm going to fill and fix. I'm just going in between the two of them to make sure that they're matchy-matchy, right? Going back and forth in between the two. And then we're going to go on the bottom here, and we're going to cut across. Boom. Just like that. Just like that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now you have the shape of a love buggy. Gonna fix my outer edges. Just like that. And I'm gonna fill in the rest. Now, is my, is my background yellow mixing in? Yeah. Um, you know, if you're at home, should you wait a few more minutes so your background dries? Probably. <laughs> All right. So I am just going to lightly dust this in so I don't wind up with goopy gobs like when I did Santa. Because Santa was out of control. All right. Now. I'm going to look at the shape of my car, and I'm going to make any adjustments I think is necessary. So, I got the bumpers here, right? I want to turn around and put a heart here, all right? And then I'm going to need a windshield with stuff in it. So, what I'm going to do, okay, because that doesn't seem like a whole lot of room to do everything, I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to make the top bigger, 
Again, following that swoop dangle right there. And I'm going to make my top bigger so I know I can fit everything in. Okay, so you're going to look at your shape and you're going to make sure you can fit everything in. We got a big old heart in the middle and then we have a windshield. So if you got to make adjustments, that's why we do fill and fix and do things in white and you can just adjust accordingly all right just accordingly just like that all right now now i can do windshield right shoot windshield right and then i could come down here and i can do my heart right okay so we are just making sure that everything is going to fit Hey, Cindy, Tina B coming in with some stars. Hello, 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 Tina B. How are you doing, sweetheart? Oh, up, oh, up. Oh. <laughs> Tina B uh, paying the corner tax. Love it. Hello, 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 Cindy. How are you doing, sweetheart? Sheriff's not in town tonight, so. Da, 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 da. Okay, now. I'm going to wipe off big boy, right? Because he's got a lot of goopy paint in him. And I'm going to swirl tap dab him. Right? And I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to smooth all this out and pick up any excess paint. So if you're at home, and everything's starting to get like goopy gobby on you, like it is me. Um, you just go in with your brush, smooth things out, pick up any excess paint, and wipe it off. All right. I know with everyone's heaters going and then the damp weather, sometimes the paint doesn't cooperate. Mine doesn't cooperate because I'm heating my home with steam. Okay, so I am going to pull this all out, take the excess out, smooth it all, okay, so I just put the smallest amount of water on my brush, the smallest amount of water, tapped most of it off. And I'm just smoothing this all out. There. Ha <laughs> ha! It's always Robert's fault. It's 6,000% Robert's fault. Like, it doesn't matter what's going on. <laughs> it is always Robert's fault. Cheers, everybody. All right, as we're waiting for this to dry, okay, we can put in all the other elements of the painting, right, guys? So we could put in our little exhaust puffs, we can put in our little hearts, we could put in our, our tree smushes, all of that good stuff. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to get out uh, Fluffy. Large Fluffy in the house. Oh, yeah, dinner time. Okay, and I'm going to get some non-green paper towel. And we're going to smash Fluffy. Smash, 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 smash. Nice and fluffy, right? And we're going to grab some white. And I'm going to grab some red. And I'm going to smush, smush. And we're going to go into the two corners and just tap, right? Stick and move so you get that separation of color, okay? So you get the little white and the little red going on. And I'm just going to smush, okay? One on that side. Okay, grabbing white, grabbing red. Tap, tap, smush. 
Okay? Just like that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And yes, I am prepared. I have next week's painting sitting here to show you guys. You guys know, you come into my live, you get first looks. You get first looks. Okay, now leave it alone. <laughs> hey, Cynthia, how you doing, sweetheart? What's going on, doll? Welcome back. I need a lar I need a, uh, a taller camera stand. Because <laughs> I didn't notice... All these years, I'm like doing this to talk to you guys, and I'm actually up here. But, like, if I go like this, it's like I'm coming in with the chin, you know what I mean? So, like, I literally stoop down. Um, so, I gotta keep that in mind to make my camera stand taller as I set up the studio space in my room. And no, I didn't finish all my inventory yet. I know, I gotta do that. Put it on a box. I tried that, and it fell off the box. <laughs> I tried putting it on one of my crates that I store my paintings in, and it fell off. <laughs> because the tripod legs are um, spread out uh, further. My camera stand is some makeshift uh, gizmo anyway. Um, it's literally a, um, a stand for a regular camera, and then I got this phone holder thing that has, like, gummy arms on it, and I attached that to the camera stand holder to bring it up even higher, and um, if I tried to go any higher, though, the weight of the phone would make it topple. <laughs> I don't know. We'll play with it. You know how I roll. All right, so now we're gonna take out Mini Me. We're gonna take out Mini Me. Right, he's a small shader, nice uh, flat edge to him. Brand spanking new Mini Me. Look at how pretty he is. Oh my goodness gracious, I can't stand it. I'm gonna grab white paint and I'm gonna put in my little exhaust puffs. Okay, so there's one on the edge of the car. And I am just going to do two little puffs, tap in the white, right? Now you guys know it's going to take a few layers to make these guys white, white, white. Close up! Alright, so we got a little puff on the side of the car. And then we got one here, right? Tap, dab it out. So one, two, three, four right and then the big guy right here so put little dots to map it out for yourself all right and then you can go back in two boxes right and all i'm doing is little little bump here little bump here and a little bump here right three little circles all attached to each other and dabbing my paint on Okay, and I'm refilling my brush. Do the same thing. So one, two, let's do this one up here. One, two, three. Okay. And this one. One, two, three. There we go, and the big guy, right? We're gonna do the big guy. So the big guy, we're gonna do shoots like this. Okay. You know, now is the time where you want to think to yourself, okay, self, what am I going to be putting into my exhaust cloud? Am I going to be putting hearts? Am I going to be putting a name, right? Mr. and Mrs. Robertson or whatever. Um, Robert and Tina, 
right? All of those um, little nods to your uh, loves that you have, right? Are you just going to be putting a design inside here? So you want to think to yourself, what am I going to be putting in my little exhaust cloud? And you want to make your shape accordingly, okay? Like if you're going to be putting a long name, you'd want to make it like longer, you know, bigger horizontally, right? If you're going to be putting in some shapes, maybe you want it bigger vertically, Okay, so now's the time to make your adjustments and do your little exhaust cloud however you need it to be to fit in whatever you're going to be putting inside of it. And you could just make it bigger by adding more and more little semicircles to it until you get it what you need it to be to be able to... Um, Put whatever you're gonna put in it. So you come on, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. so you come on phone on Thursday. What's time? My instructor traced big everything, and you filled in, and your painting will help me. Uh, Carrie, um, I don't go on the phone on Thursday. I go live on Fridays. It's Friday. It's Friday. Uh, the event page, uh, the painting I'm going to be doing on Fridays is posted on my page. So you can very easily look at it and um, have somebody map out the shapes for you if that's what you need to do. So my, uh, my, the event pages that are on my Facebook page will have the picture of the paintings that I will be doing on Fridays. Like the Love Bug painting was posted since last weekend. All right, now we're gonna do our hearts. Okay guys, so um, let me get more white paint. And remember when we did the gingerbread men? Remember how I showed you how to do the hearts with the gingerbread men? Okay. All right. So I'm going to take uh, Mr. Nifty over here. And I'm just going to come to where the tires will be. Right. And we're just going to do a little, little smush. A little smush and pull. Smush, pull. And just like that, you got the cutest little heart you ever seen in your life. Alright, and then you're going to come over here. Smush, pull. Smush, pull. And there's another one. Alright, and as these go up, you want to make them bigger. Okay, smush pull smush pull adjust it a little bit and there you go uh, if you're having trouble making your hearts at an angle what you want to do is you draw a line at an angle okay and then you turn around and you do the one side and then you do the other side and there you go perfect shape at an angle Right, and now as I'm getting to these bigger hearts, I'm going to switch to Tiny. Tiny's in the house. Tiny's a small round brush, right? And same concept. So I'm going to grab some white paint. Okay, roll my brush in the white paint. There we go. And we're going to come up here, and I'm going to smush, pull, smush, pull. And you have a heart, and then you can adjust it accordingly, however you want it to be. Okay. Come up here, maybe the other one's over here, smush, pull, smush, pull.
Maybe there's another big one right over here. Smush, pull, smush, pull. Right, so these should look like they're floating upwards. It's the kick up from the tires, and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Right, same thing on the other side. Now you guys know that I am not going to do the five layers of color on these guys to make them pop. Right, you already know that. <laughs> you know to color these in, you have to do the white first, maybe white again. Okay, so it's completely not see-through. And then you're going to do uh, pink, uh, pink. Okay. And then you're going to uh, do uh, red, all right, or whatever color you're going to make your hearts. All right now, I got to make the little guys, so I'm going to put Tiny away. Grab Mr. Nifty again. Right, push pull push pull right heart at an angle so I'll draw my line first and then make the heart even Steven on both sides of that line so then you can get your hearts that are on an angle I'm just gonna bring it in to where the general area of the tires are gonna be this painting's super cute. I like this painting. I didn't like it at first when I was first painting it. Um, I couldn't like wrap my head around it for some reason. And but now as I'm painting it again and I've been looking at it for a week, it's starting to grow on me. So guys, that happens to me too. So if you're doing a painting and you're just like, eh, meh, I don't know, right? Let's well, sit for a little bit. Let's sit for a little bit, and um, usually it'll wind up growing on you. Because <laughs> this one wound up growing on me. All right. Now we have all our shapes mapped out. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Carrie. Um, we have all our shapes mapped out. So, what are we going to do? We're gonna go in, right? Now, I would go in with another coat of white on the car, because a lot of my green showing through. You guys know that already, right? So, um, but what I'm gonna do, uh, just for the sake of good old video time, I'm going to swirl tap dab, big boy, I'm gonna make sure all the yellow's out of them, and like I said, normally I would hit this with another whole coat of white. But I'm going to go in with a whole lot of white. And I'm going to grab my red and I'm going to do the pink. Okay? And we just want to color this all in with the pink. We're not worried about anything right now. I'm going to use that nice edge on my one inch brush to get my edges nice. I like to do my edges. Did you guys know how good I am at staying in the, the, the shape? <laughs> so I like to do my edges first so then I could turn around and just color in the rest of it without having to worry about going out of my shape. Right? Look, I'm following the shape of the car. Okay? Right? Pulling down. Pulling down with the um, brush. And then when I get to the bumpers, I'm going to swing it around. Follow that curve. Follow that curve. Right? Cross the bottom. Follow. 
filling this all in. So what are you guys thinking? What are you going to put in your love bugs? Got any ideas? Got any plans? What are you going to put in the love bug? Hanging out in the front seat. Now this is the front of the car. Okay, keep that in mind. Alright, all filled in. And I'm going to turn around and I'm going to add my little mirrors in. Right? So we got two little rear view mirrors here. Uh, so cute, right? Kind of look like golf clubs. You're going to put a bug in the bug? <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> All right, grabbing Mr. Nifty. Okay, my windshield's going to be in this square right here. So I'm going to put one coming out this way, right? Bring my hand over. Let me come up behind you guys so I can have that pretty even on both sides. Right, and then we're just going to do an oval. on this side right you're gonna put Sully in you I love it Diane I love it 6,000 percent now I'm just gonna switch between the two try to make them even Steven just like that He's having the same problem I had with Santa. Everything's goopy. The whole car is goopy. <laughs> it's a big goopy mess. But that's okay. Because I can still show you what you need to know. It's just not going to look that good. <laughs> Guys, wanna, you want to see? what? Look. See all the goopy? was concerned with what my instructional painting looks like which I'm not as long as you guys get what you need to get to um, make it look like the original I would fix it the way I fixed it before with um, just dampening my brush smoothing that all out and then giving it the proper time to dry completely before putting another layer Aw, oh, that's so sweet, Cynthia. Prayers and blessings to you, darling. Um, that's awesome. That's such a sweet idea. Yep, and then you could always turn around and add, like, some more clouds in if you wanted to to give it more of a look of it being uh, going to heaven and stuff. So that's a really sweet idea. Okay, so what I want to do next is I'm going to swirl tap to add fluffy. 
okay and as long as your um, smushes up here are nice and dry now you could go in now you can go in and I'm going to uh, grab my red okay just just red this time and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put in some really bright red moments again here they're not everywhere right you don't want to cover up that light pink and if you don't want to go red if you want to go more pink I would grab uh, more white right so that's more red and if you want to go more pink I'm grabbing a whole bunch of white okay on my brush and you could do a lighter pink so it's up to you however you want to do it um, some people really like the lighter pink some people are more into the deeper reds it doesn't matter it's your painting it's your world same process right here they're not everywhere you don't want it to become a big bush mushy mess and that's it stop messing with it right what did I do like five taps then leave it alone <laughs> leave it alone All right, as you're waiting for everything else to dry, it's second coat time, right? So I would add, I would be adding the uh, the pink to the hearts. Okay, so I would be coloring in all my little hearts. All right, and we're not going to sit here and watch Miss Eve, uh color <laughs> right I'll do a couple you guys get the idea right and then I would turn around with uh, mini me and color it uh, do another coat of white on all my little puffs Alright, so we would do another coat of white on all my little puffy puffs. Following the curve, right, as you're filling these in, you want to follow the curve. Yep, guys, and I want to see your creations, all right? So make sure you um, share them with me, right? With the big puffs, same thing. Follow those individual curves. Okay? As you're filling this in, and then just dab the color throughout. So it's, uh, you get all those rounded brush strokes, and it's going to make it look even uh, puffier. Right? I'm not just doing this, okay? I'm following every little curve. And then just doing some dabs to make this look puffier, okay? So, the next thing I would be doing, which I would turn around and put my colors in my love bug, right? So the wheel wells are a lighter pink. And you just want to cut the inside part to an angle to the bumper. All right, so in the original, these are a lighter pink. color in my whole car again pink and then I would make the heart in the middle all right so to do your heart you're gonna find the center of your car all right you're gonna adjust your angles of the bumpers here 
Make sure they're the same angle. Follow, I'm going to find the center of my car. I'm going to put a line. Which I'm going to do this in red so you guys can see it. Right? And then once I have my line in, make sure you're leaving enough room for your windshield. Bring this out, swoop it in. Bring this out, swoop it in. Fill and fix. Okay. Let me show you on the original what I'm talking about. So, okay, so here you go. Um, so this, right, was the white. White again, if your background's still showing through. Then it was a whole, color the whole thing in with white and red, right? Once that dries, right, drying in between every single layer, okay? So we had white. White again if necessary, right? Block the background. White and red to um, do your base color, okay? And then you're gonna go back in. And I did um, a darker pink for the body of the car. And then I added more white to that to do the two bumpers and the heart, all right? So that would be all your layers of colors that you would put on this to get it to look like this, okay? And these are your shapes on how to put your shapes in, okay? Once you have all, the, I had a navy blue Volkswagen bug a night that had front seat missing, bolted a milk crate to the floor, tied an old pillow on it to sit on, until we could find a seat. <laughs> that is a hysterical story. I love it, Carolyn. <laughs> you were you were driving around in your little bug sitting on a milk crate. That that is hysterical. Alright. I'm gonna swirl tap dab uh, big boy. And I'm gonna grab uh, white and blue right and we're going to come in here and we're going to do the windshield so you want to just hold your brush back here straight up on the canvas pull faster you pull straighter it's going to be okay and then you're going to follow the shape of your car right to have your windshield. All right, and then as that's all drying, you can go and put your uh, coats on your heart and your exhaust and all of that happy stuff. I would come in and, um, that's right, got to make it work. Hey, Sheila, how are you doing, sweetheart? Yeah, guys, keep in mind, the replays are um, going to be on Facebook for 30 days. And then you got to go to YouTube. All right. So if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, it's free to subscribe. You just open my YouTube channel. You're going to see a little button that says subscribe. You hit the button. It doesn't cost a thing. And then every single time um, the videos are uploaded, you're going to get a notification that it's there to watch the replay. So you want to make sure that you figure that out for yourselves. Because the replays on Facebook are only going to be on for 30 days. 
That's it. Then you gotta go to YouTube. Okay, so I'm gonna grab uh, Tiny, and I'm gonna grab Black Paint, and you're gonna put your tires in, right? So you want to want here's the center of your what is this called a <laughs> wheel well <laughs> right put in your one little tire just holding my brush like a pencil making a little rectangle that's all and then center my other one put in my tire Okay, put your two little tires in. You're gonna go up to your tree and you're gonna take Mr. Nifty, right? Small detail brush with uh, white paint. And you're gonna put the branches in. Right, so all you do is you start a branch, okay? Right, and then you skip over some of your foliage and follow it through. Right, and then say, oh, hey, behind there, another branch kind of started, and then you could follow it through. Right? And you do this, right, putting some above, tucking some underneath, right, just little pieces of branches, right, maybe this guy is coming over here and he's above all that and then whoop, he's underneath that part. Right, maybe there's a branch, maybe this branch over here is going through here, then it's behind that part, and then it's coming out the front. Okay, and this is how you add depth to your tree, uh, weaving branches in and out of the foliage you have. And you just want to make sure that it's, like, it's following, like, this one obviously would be all one branch. This one is one branch, right? This one is one branch. This one is a branch coming off of this one. So maybe make that one a little thicker because it's got to have this piece, right? So you would just add these branches in, making sure there's some sort of follow through. And you're just going to weave these in and out of your foliage. Okay, and then you do the same thing to the other side. branches to where they're underneath and over the top of the foliage that you have in place. Okay, so this way you're adding depth to your trees. I'm going to let that dry and then we're going to go in and tap them into the um, tree better. Right. Then I'm going to take Mini Me and you can start adding all the details to your car. So I'm taking Mini Me and white paint and I'm going to move my hand, not the brush. So I'm going to place my brush and then just slide your hand across. Faster you go, straighter it's going to be. Right? So, shoop, right across. 
and there is the bumper. Okay, if you're gonna do the license plate, right, make sure you're making your bumper big enough to fit your license plate on there. When you're going to go do your license plate, write your word first and then do the square around it, all right? So if you're doing the license plate, write your word first. You split your word in the middle, okay? So love is two on each side. So I'm gonna find my center. I'm gonna come over here and you work your way out. You work your way out from the center. Once you have your word in place, then you want to bracket it out. Okay, don't do the square first and then try to fit your word in the square. Do your word first and then put the square around it. <laughs> okay, and then you are going to take mini me and you're gonna add your headlights, right? So the headlights are right in this little area right here, circle in a circle. I lined it up, right? Here's the edge of my bumper, so I just made sure I was inside that edge, okay? Because you want everything to be the same on both sides, right? So here's the side of my bumper. I'm gonna go inside that edge. Just a parentheses and a parentheses of a circle. That's all. Is there anything you got? Because honestly, I'm going to put the details on the car. I already told you how to color it in. And I'm going to show you how to finish off the trees. Is there anything you guys want to see for me to show you that's in the car? Is there anything in particular you're gonna do that you need a little guidance to be able to do it? Let me know now, and I'll show you how to do the silhouettes or whatever you're putting in the car, okay? So let me know now if, that, um, if there's something you want me to show you as far as putting um, something, somebody, uh, little animals or uh, people, or whatever you're thinking about putting in the car, I will sh uh, take this time now to show you how to do that. Because um, I'd rather show you, right? You don't need to see me color. <laughs> right? You don't need to see me color. You guys know how to color. You know how to paint. You know how to put your layers. You knew all about the white mapping. You know all of that stuff. So I don't need to show you how to color. But I will show you. Uh, if you want to see anything that's going in the car, all right, um, I'm going to show you the dice. I'm going to show you the dice larger, though, so you can see the concept behind it. Because me painting tiny little dice isn't going to help anybody, <laughs> right? Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Stars is enabled. Don't forget Venmo and PayPal. If you'd like to purchase the original, uh, direct message me. You'll get an off the can, uh, off the easel special because the original's not on Etsy yet. So if you like the original, right, maybe as a Valentine's gift, it is for sale. I'm an artist. My soul's for sale. Uh, it's very easy to get a hold of me. The best way to get a hold of me is through Facebook and, um, Logan holding chicken fries. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> close up. Yeah, it would be a really big close up if I showed you the dice in, in real size. Because <laughs> they're tiny. Look how tiny they are. 
right? That's my finger. That's my fingertip. Look how small those dice are. So that would be it. I would have to like hold the camera and try to paint those at the same time. I'm only human, people. I'm only human. Okay. So, uh, Logan holding french fries, chicken fries. So what I would do, uh, if you're doing a person, right, what you do is you have your inside your windshield, but I'm going to do it on the blank canvas space here. I'm going to take mini me. I'm going to take black paint. Okay. And the first thing you want to do, make sure you're leaving enough room for their head. All right. When you do this. Okay, so make sure you're leaving, like when you go to do their shoulders, make sure you're leaving enough room for their head. All right, so you're going to turn around and let me just do like the line of the bottom of the windshield. All right, so here's your windshield bottom. And I'll do a couple of these in case somebody asks for something else. All right, so that's the bottom of the windshield. This is that up there okay and I'm gonna take mini me and black paint <clears throat> so you do um, an upside down horseshoe okay and then you would do the neck in the middle then you do a parentheses and a parentheses at the head make sure the head is smaller Excuse me, make sure the head is smaller than the uh, shoulders. If you went a little happy with the head, you can always make your shoulders wider. Okay, and then you would go in with um, Mr. Nifty and you would add uh, whatever the hair is going to look like. So. We got uh, Logan's hair going on here. Right? If you want to put their arm to where they're holding another person <coughs> or holding chicken fries, which is what Carolyn said. Okay, I'm going to take my black paint. I'm going to follow along my shoulder. I'm going to do an angle down and then an angle up. Okay, follow along. You can do the angle down on this side and then an angle up if you want the arms on both sides. Right? One, two, three, four, five for the hand. This hand is holding chicken fries. So. Right? I would put a little, uh, you know, like the little shoot, like this. And then, you know, like the little container that would be from uh, McDonald's here. Right? Fill that in. And then put in all the little chicken fries. Okay. And then in the other hand, <laughs> hey Erin, in the other hand, we'll put a chicken fry. And he is just going to town with his little chicken fries. <laughs> and anybody watching this on YouTube is probably going to be like, what is this chick painting? What is she doing? And it's all Carolyn's fault. <laughs> so there's your grandson holding chicken fries. <laughs> Munching out. <laughs> Hi, Erin. How are you doing, sweetheart? All right. So the dice. Let's do roll call, and then I'm going to show you the dice, and then let me know if there's anything else you would like to see that you're planning on putting in your car. Roll call, we 
we got Kimberly, Joan, Marsha, Liz, Lori, Shauna, Carolyn, Katie, Diane, Debbie, Christina, with um, Melissa, Nikki, Carrie, Tina, Cindy, Sheila, and Erin coming in. Hello, 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 Erin. Hello, 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 everybody. <laughs> You're welcome, Carolyn. <laughs> oh, that was cute. So, I'm going to take uh, Mini Me so you guys can see these. All right. So, the thing with the dice, you want to make uh, three colors of pink. Okay? So, you're going to have a dark pink. Right? So, we're going to use a dark, a dark pink. And then, you want a medium pink. And then, you want a light, 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 light pink. Right? So you want three colors of pink. Dark, medium, light. Hi, Tamara. How you doing, sweetheart? Hello, 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 Laverne. How are you doing, sweetheart? Hi, Laverne. Hi, Tamara. How are you guys? What's going on? So... On a three by five, Lori, that's tiny. That's tiny, darling. Tiny's harder, guys. Those of you that are uh, scared of the uh, bigger canvases, they're actually easier to paint a picture on. So when you're looking at the little tiny canvases, just remember it's going to be harder because you don't have enough wiggle room in case um, you screw up. And then your details are going to be super tiny. So just keep that in mind. All right. So... What you're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to take the lightest pink and you want to make a cube. Okay, so all you're going to do is you're going to make a square. Right, you make a square. And it is way harder. All right, and then... You're going to follow the angle of this piece, and you're going to follow the angle of this piece, right? And then you connect it all with vertical pieces. And you have, if you have to make adjustments along the way, make adjustments, okay? So you're going to make a cube and then you're going to take your three separate colors, okay? You're going to take your dark pink and do one side of the cube. And then you're going to take your medium pink and do the other side of the cube. So this way you can tell the three sides, right? The dark side, right? The medium and the light. And that is how you would do the dice. And then when you do the other die that's in front of it, okay, you're going to make sure that your colors are um, not the same. So, for the other die, I'm going to take my light pink now, and I'm going to do my square on the dark pink side of my die, okay? And then I'm going to take my medium pink, okay, do the angle of the top, right? And then I'll take my dark pink and do the other side. Okay, and you just make sure that all your angles line up. This angle is the same as this angle over here. 
right? These are going down. This angle is the same as this angle. This angle is the same as that angle. Right? And then you just have your three different colors making up the sides. And then all I did was take Mr. Nifty with white paint and I put a string out the center of this one. And I put a string out the center of this one and I curved it around the rear view mirror piece. Then you take black paint and I put in the little dots of the numbers. Right now, this one would be the six, but the string is hiding the other piece, right? You might want to put like a little touch right in there. <laughs> hey, April. Yep, you're in the corner. Sheriff's out of town tonight, though, so. <laughs> What's going on, sweetheart? Right? Now, for your, to finish up. Can't beat that, Lori. Can't beat that. Hi, April. How are you, sweetheart? So, to finish up the branches in your trees, right, um, I took uh, Mini-Me. I took Mini-Me. And I just went in to where the branches are all uh, poking in and out. And, <laughs> right, take your pink paint. And wherever they're poking in and out, you're just going to put little dabs in on either side of that branch to make sure it looks nice and tucked in to the foliage of the tree. Okay, so you just go on either side of your little branches that you put in. And it'll tuck them all in. To the tree. Just like that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, is there anything else um, you guys want to see as far as what's in the car? Is there anything else you guys want to see? Because, um, And then I also put, uh, right, because the rest is just the little details. So I put the little lights that are here, right, the little lights that are here I put in, okay, and I took my red and I outlined my headlights, Okay, so these are just all little details that you can add, right? We got the uh, windshield wipers, okay, we have the, the rear view mirror was just down the center and then a square.
right? We had the um, steering wheel. Just a half circle. Okay? All those things. Ha <laughs> ha! April! Coming in late and then being naughty girl. <laughs> How you doing, sweetheart? What's going on? All right, guys. Um, then the only thing I did is you add your white highlights, right? So you add your white highlights in. Okay. I highlighted the hearts on one of the sides of the um, heart. Okay, and then on the car, right, I have uh, the bumper, I have uh, around the heart, right, I have uh, on the sides, and then I have on one of the top corners right here. Okay, so you're just going to add in, <laughs> you're just going to add in all your little highlights on your items. Okay, so uh, last call, do you want to see anything else that's going in the car? Um, you can Google, if you uh, it's a silhouette, so you can Google a kitten silhouette, you can Google a dog silhouette, um, you can Google a boy or a girl or or whichever, you know, to get the silhouette shapes, right? The, um, what I would want to tell you is make sure that when you do the different pieces, right, we break everything down into pieces and parts, squares, circles, rectangles, things like that to do your silhouettes. And just make sure that when you're doing each little piece that you're leaving room for the other pieces, right? So with Logan here, um, in the car, okay, when I did the shoulders, I'd make sure I put the shoulders to where I would be able to fit the head into it, all right, and if you totally screw it up, let it dry, white and blue paint, and try it again, <laughs> try it again, so you guys have everything you need to paint the love bug, you know how to make the shape, you know how to color it, you know how to do the details, you know how to do your silhouettes, you know how to do your dice now, all right? Just three three shades, light, dark, medium, and do the sides, the different shades of color, right? Finish up your trees. If you're doing wording in your puff, okay? Start from the middle, work your way out. If you're going past your puff, just make your um, puff bigger, all right? Oh, next week's, thank you so much, Liz. Yep, so next week's painting, if anybody would like to purchase the original, like I said, you would get it off the easel discount, and I could customize it any way that you'd want me to customize it. So uh, keep that in mind. And next week's is uh, where I put it. <laughs> oh, it's in the room because I was going to take a picture of it. Okay, so let me go get next week's, guys. Next week's. So, now, this is a pretty, um, pretty generic Valentine's painting. Uh, you guys have seen this before, but it definitely is something that, um, you've seen something like this before, I'm sure, but the, the thing to this painting is, we're going to paint an entire painting without using black. wrap your head around that one all right guys so first looks because you're in my life thank you so much for the stars don't forget venmo and paypal and uh there you go so it is the couple on the bench uh with our sunset heart a really pretty purpley yellow foliage that's glowing from the sun right our water Okay, with the sun's reflection. All right, we're going to do 
we're gonna well you're not gonna show up on time anyway April <laughs> right you're gonna do your um, your shadow your cast shadow and this entire painting is done not using black So I'm going to show you how you can get the same. It kind of looks like a print screen, right? So I'm going to show you how you can get the same tones and make things look darker and lighter without actually using uh, black paint. All right. So this is next week's, guys. It's super, super duper cute. I'm really excited about it. Think about what you want on your bench. Think about, you know, the colors you want to work with, and um, you guys are going to totally be able to do this, and we're going to have a good time with it. All right? So, I love you all. <laughs> all right, April, if you say so. Um, I really love the foliage in this one. So, um, I love you all. Have an amazing uh, week. I'll see you next Friday. Make sure you um, don't forget that uh, 30 days, then it's YouTube. Okay? So, y'all are in my heart. You all have an amazing evening. And um, I'm going to see you next time. Okay? Mwah. Love yous. You guys are crazy. I love yous. <laughs> Bye.